Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. I have a new micro battery and I wanted to show everybody. This is very exciting. Um, so you know I've uh, built a little Pico or Quantum Wisp and I have another build uh, in store. And I've been enjoying that so much I started looking around the internet for better batteries. And the one I've been flying a lot is just this generic 380. Uh, I came from some toy quad but I felt that it gave me the uh, best abilities to fly and it gave me the best consistent run times. Um, I went ahead and bought some more 380s. This one is Turnigy branded. They run the same as say something like this. Which this one's only a 300 but they run about the same. I have a box of batteries here I've been through. Uh, the Nanotechs. Um, there's another Nanotech. Same sort of nanotech, a little tiny nanotech, uh, some other generic 300 battery. Anyways, so I've been through a number of batteries, and these I'm really disappointed in. Um, I think these actually had slightly more punch than, say, a generic 25C battery, but not much, and the runtime with them was worse. Um, I, I would typically typically get uh, three minutes right around, maybe plus or minus 10 seconds. Um, with the 380, a generic 380, and with these I usually got just barely over two minutes. So that doesn't really compute. Now you compound the fact that these nanotechs, uh, what are these, run about four bucks a piece, um, and then you pay shipping on top of that. They they no longer work. So I uh, probably got maybe eight or twelve flights off of these before they started giving me fits. Um, I can, they're not dead, they're not puffed, but they don't power the quad and the Quantum Wisp with the Pico or a Siski board in it. They do power this and get the motors to spin up, so they're not much good. Um, I guess, suppose you could power it a camera if it's standalone, is what you want to do. So those, this is just too heavy. But this, the Fly from Venom, It's this is a 500 mAh battery. It's rated for 30C. We shouldn't necessarily trust the 30C. Um, but this is a battery I found just searching the internet. I bought it from Atomic RC, A T O M I K R C dot com. Um, and uh, there's a couple of things that are fairly unique about this. One, we have two leads. Uh, it's in the same shape as you see in other batteries from other websites. It's about the same density here. Um, it's weight. Let's turn this on. Let's do a little weight here. So this 380 weighs 10.9. This 500 weighs 15.1, so almost a third more. But where the, the big kicker in this is, uh, not only does it have a 30 C, which isn't a big kicker, but it's uh, got a burst rating of 60 C, which again, when we're talking about C ratings, those uh, they, they can't necessarily be trusted. They'll find this could only be maybe 25 C by certain testing. I don't have the equipment to test, but. In my experience, I flew, uh, I have two of these. I bought a two pack for uh, $14.90 or something like $14 something. Uh, they retail for just under $20 uh, for the two pack. I think individually they're almost um, $11 a piece, but right now they have a sale going on. Um, with these batteries, oh, sorry, I skipped over. So what I was doing was I would fly one of these and fly one of those and fly one of these and go one of back. So I wanted to give myself the, retain the perspective of what it was like to fly with this generic battery, which I enjoyed. It's just fine. But I felt that the throttle control was much simpler with this. Um, I felt it was much more consistent. Um, like if you came out of uh, doing a hard yaw or a hard uh, a bank turn, you would oftentimes not have the throttle control to be able to punch it up in order to level it back out and go ahead and forward flight. It would kind of go down to the ground and maybe just touch down and come back. It, but it, it would take it a little bit to climb back up to a flying height. Um, or you had to keep a real consistent height all the time in order to stay out of that, what I would call a porpoising effect, where you're kind of going up and you're kind of going down. So you couldn't really pick up a great deal of speed in a straightaway getting your nose down and then kind of level it out in order to make your turn with indoor flying or close proximity. But with these, I really felt as though my throttle control was a lot better. 
I could actually fly faster and then still recover if I got a little bit out of shape. Um, and my flight time was five minutes. Um, also, I recorded the flights. I recorded all the flights that I did in this series going back and forth between these batteries. And I wanted to review the flights. And I do this with our Little League Baseball team. I go back and I watch the, the game um, on a little video that I record uh, from kind of the umpire's view. Just to make sure, I, to confirm I saw what I thought I saw uh, with the kids. So I wanted to do the same thing for myself. I wanted to make sure I just didn't, wasn't developing a bias for um, a new battery just because I just, maybe because it looked cool. I didn't want to develop a, bat a bias. Anywho, I'm pretty sure these batteries are pretty cool. I'm going to use these for flying most of the time. But, additional information time. Um, so they're shipped well. I mean, when we get these batteries, we'll oftentimes just get them in a simple bubble wrap and maybe an envelope. You know, it comes from 10,000 miles away and it travels uh, very gingerly along. But you'll see that, if you can see that without the glare from my lights, the lifetime battery replacement plan. Uh, you also see the 5C fast charge capable, um, grade A match cells, easy to connect. So these Venom batteries seem pretty cool. But uh, I wanted to highlight um, down here, because on the front it has the... Lifetime replacement plan it has that asterisk, and you think, oh, yeah, this, of course. But I'm just going to read this to you what it says. We are so certain of the quality of our batteries that we offer a Venom limited lifetime battery replacement plan on all of our rechargeable battery packs. Venom will, at its discretion, repair or replace defective batteries free of charge within a period of one year from the original date of purchase. Year two onward, any Venom battery can be exchanged for a brand new battery of the same size and type for 30% off the original retail pricing. So that's pretty cool. I mean, at least I think it is pretty cool. You buy two of these batteries, and in the first year, they'll fix it if something goes wrong, um, or they'll give you a new one if it's not a repairable type of issue. And if it's in year two, you know, how many cycles have these things been through possibly in year two? I know on the weekends, it's pretty easy to get 10 flights in. Um, and I, you know, have kids and activities and things like that I'm always hustling to. So that, that limited lifetime warranty that they reflect is pretty cool if it holds true. Now there is a caveat to it, and uh, we'll get to that here. Uh, this is what comes in the pack. Here's what I wanted to show you. Um, there's a kind of a four-step process. So you need the original itemized receipt, which is probably in your email. You can locate the part number on the top of the barcode, which I believe that number right there is the barcode. Um, that's also probably in your email. And then you locate the serial number on the product on this card, which is this. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, don't show that on the internet, but you can't register these things right now. Um, if you go to this registration URL, they don't have a, the website running. You get actually prompted for a password. Um, now, it could be that they had a bunch of stock printed because it seems as though this company, Venom RC, is actually possibly only selling through AtomicRC.com. I can't say that for sure, but when I sent a customer service request, uh, there was a, on one of these cards, yeah, I sent an email to the customer service at venompower.com asking about this registration. You know, how am I supposed to do this? You say I've only got 30 days, but yet you don't have a website that works. So that makes you worry, a little bit worried about the, the warranty of these batteries anyways. Uh, I got an automated response, and the response said to reply to someone at Atomic RC. So, or no, I got a response from Atomic RC. So I sent, uh, there was a link to open a ticket, so I clicked the link and I opened a ticket. So we'll see, and I'll update the description on this video when I get some feedback. Um, but it, the packages come pretty nice. They've got this fold out, and they show you the different products that they sell, and they've got um, chargers and swag of various sorts, and then you've got your registration card and the obligatory warning and some stickers, which, you know, that's cool. I'm, Stickers can always dress something up that looks boring. But when it comes to flying these micros, I really like these batteries. Um, I make sure that I have these either charged or charging when I'm getting ready to fly. Um, I charge these at a very low rate because I want them to last forever. 
um, but I probably will buy another two pack like this. Um, they ship out of the U.S. Um, Raftrum, uh, Idaho, took about four or five days to get to me, including the weekend. Um, so pretty quick shipping. Um, they came in a box, not an envelope. Um, it's a, a United States Postal Service box, and the, the packaging has foam, and it's pretty stiff plastic. It's, you know, it's good packaging. So if you're into micros and you're having a tough time with your batteries or you want to explore other batteries, I definitely recommend trying these out. Um, ones I haven't got my hands on yet is from MyLipo. They sell a very, very similar battery to this, but I think it's only 430 mAh. Uh, but I think the C ratings are about the same, and I think the dimensions are very same, but they only have one lead. And you can save yourself a gram of weight probably by snipping this off and terminating whichever lead you don't use. So, good batteries. I can't wait to get more. I may even try these on my outside quad for my 250, uh, but we'll see. If you have any comments or questions or you know of some other batteries that I should give a shot, I'm very interested to see what we can make these little things do. They're good fun, and for me, they're very convenient in flying. Um, so, if you have any other batteries or ideas, comment, let me know. See if I can get my hands on some, if I can afford them, that is. And uh, I'll take them for a spin and maybe feature them on the channel if they're better than these Venom Fly batteries. But these batteries are pretty good. I like these a lot. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a few more videos in the can and you'll be seeing those all shortly.